bounds. Hey guys, Go Mobile here. Welcome back to another video. And today I am showing you how to make intros with Power Director. Basically, um, one of my uh, subscribers commented on my last video saying that he wanted me to show uh, him and the uh, everyone else, anyone that watches this video, how to make an intro. Now it's not gonna be the best because it's kind of simple. So what you want to do is, if you have um, Power Director. Or, um, what do you call it? <clears throat> Power Director or the full version, either one. But the I recommend you buying the full version because there's no watermark and you can download, uh, produce your vid editing video. When you're editing videos, you can produce them at HD and full HD. It's pretty cool. And yeah, let's open the app here. So what you want to do is, um, this is when you open the app for the first time. This is what's gonna look like. It's like title and stuff. It says creating new bro project to start editing. So you what you wanna do is click the middle, and you can call your project anything. Let's just say like, oh intro. I don't know. You new. I don't know. You can call it anything. And then when you do here, you can either choose put a uh, you can either have an intro that you already have when you edit your videos. But um, today I'm only showing you um, how. This is um, I'm only showing you how to create an intro. So press uh, first. You want to press that arrow and like when in this part you can press the arrow, or you can have a camera like that. You can also take a picture. Um, here if you click the T, which is the text, you can add different things here. Now one that I used to use was um, uh, what do you call it? Unite. Or like you can also before you put on the uh these uh these layers you can actually like press the play button on the bottom and it'll show you what it will look like like a sample like let's say example this is the one that I use called Unite when you play it it will look like this. this is the one that I had that said go mobile and stuff it's pretty cool um like 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 um here's mine here is one of mine which is you know this one which is the intro. Basically, if you're wondering how I got this intro, basically I downloaded a free, um, you can look up on YouTube or the internet, like, free, free blank, uh, intro templates. Basically, you can use it to, uh, basically just download it when they give you, a, when there's a link in the description of their video or something like that. And, basically, you just want to download it and make sure it doesn't have a text, because when, th this is the reason why, is because... When you add the video onto the app, that's when you edit the intro you want. And you can have a uh, timing to put on the text you want or anything like that. Now, if you add a text, like let's just add a, a default one. You can click on it and you tap on it. You can click the pencil thing. You can change it to align anywhere down here. I usually in the center and I, I choose the color down here. The one that's um, the second one on the bottom. And the font you can do different ones. There's uh coming soon. There's only a few uh uh what do you call it fonts that I've never heard, really used. I use I thought it would have like uh, a lot more, but but it's still pretty cool though. Like let's say like example like this is like here if you wanted to say um um my YouTube intro or like my okay let me spell this for a second my YouTube. I can't spell intro like there now this is what I did so it's like you know you, there's no need for PC or anything uh, if you want music you can click on the um uh, on the thing again that the, the, the above the T and you can go to the music section and I have downloads so I have uh, me uh, tongue twister rap Bastille Pompeii drum step for example like let's say I did the thing with the Pompeii like I would know that then it'll download on the bottom of where the text is. Also, you can make this as long as you want. You just drag these two circles. You can, uh, you know. And when you have a video, you can also change the effect by clicking on the FX uh, button. And if, let's say, like this song here. Um, this is where the part where I usually, you can also make this a song smaller. Like, let's say if there's a song that you want to put in your intro and it has like a really cool beat drop or something. You can make these smaller and towards the end is over here. 
it it's it's kind of take a while to editing you can also add like text in the middle of your videos which is pretty cool but here we're showing how to make an intro that's simple also like like i said earlier you can also download like a free uh blank intro te template from uh youtube or google i, I mean on the internet I could search up. I think this is where the part, the drop is. I'm not sure. Let me see. You can listen to it. See it right there. That's the thing. I'm going to only show a little because it's, uh, I don't want to uh, do to copyright. Now, when you click on the music, there's like a sound thing down uh, on the top uh, on the left side with that this button right there. Now, how I did the thing in the intro where it would like fade in, fade out. You just turn on fade in and fade it. Now when like when you play it from like let's say from here let's start from here and then when it starts playing it'll fade in like you can hear like it's like like it's from quiet then to like soft and then basically that that's how you make your intro it's it's pretty easy uh um it might take a while it, it took a bit uh it was actually hard the first time because I didn't know how to use it but now I do so here um you can just let's just use this i mean it's not the best yeah see like that and then once you're done making your intro you can click on the top right button right there and you can either save project and when you do you also what you gonna do is produce your video and then you this you, know, you click produce video and you can click it to so you can select your video quality to sd hd or full hd and when you produce it, it'll uh, start producing. And then once it says complete, um, like this, uh, we'll click produce. It'll say prepare and see like this producing movie. Sometimes when you're making videos, when you start editing video, it might take a while. So you click OK. Now you go back here. Let's go. Now you go to your uh, where you would put your videos and stuff. Uh, let's go to my video. Now uh, that's right here, introing you HD. Now if we play it, it should have the music. Like that. I mean, I didn't add anything too cool to the text, but you know. And also, this is like one of the things I made, the thing that I had. So, the outro. The outro I have right there, it's basically, it's been used a lot of times. But the music is, uh, the music is different though, because I edited the music. I, you can also edit that like here for example so basically if you uh, want to play a song or something that you think that's like what do you call it okay if, if you click on the thing again the button you can actually customize the volume to where like if you don't want to hear your voice you can oh, go oh, move it to the left all the way or a little bit like you can adjust if like the audio mixing if you want to hear more of the music in the video or your audio and a little like only the music that's why I might do that sometimes in some of my videos. I, I'm not sure. And you can just go on delete this project since um, you can produce. And basically, yeah, that's how you make your intro. Also, if you want, um, if you're if if you're editing the video, you can just uh click on the thing with the camera thing, and you can just add your intro, and then you add your recording, and then you add your outro. Like it's not that hard. And you can also do uh, transitions, which is really cool. So yeah guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to this channel yet. And for now, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.